Hi there. Welcome to Banana World. She has been doing satire since she was 16. You can't see me as your one. Tiffany had his joke. Since she hasn't done a visit yet, she hasn't done anything extraordinary. She has not demonstrated the capacity to make wisecracks. I surmise I got a little envy because I can't stand while I'm really buckling down as I'm doing this. Difficult work, and afterward, individuals are eating off of me, and afterward things are becoming lost despite any effort to the contrary, and I'm being dealt with poorly. Tiffany Abaddon's new shenanigans have been difficult to disregard, and it appears that Cat Williams might have proactively admonished us about her inclination for debate. Williams, known for his no-limit satire, recently voiced incredulity about the direction of her profession, so what is the deal with Haddish, your companion? Do you have a sister? Do you have a cousin? Do you have a nephew? Do you have a niece? Are they so ghetto? When did that become attractive? Knock it off Cat Williams as of late blended the pot for certain noteworthy bits of knowledge about Tiffany. Haddish and the repercussions are caused by disturbances during an appearance on V1103's Plane and Wanda toward the beginning of the day show. Williams didn't just toss conceal like Gehenna. He basically eclipsed her in a tempest of analysis while he took pokes at a few individual humorists, including Lil Ree Hoi, Jared Carmichael, Kevin Hart, and Hannibal. But it was Haddish who became. The point of convergence of the discussion knew off winning an Emmy for his visitor job in Atlanta Williams made a move to provoke Abaddon's quick rising to fame in a searing study. He scrutinized her comedic ability, implying that she doesn't create her own material and still can't seem to lay a good foundation for herself as a certifiable humorist. He straight expressed Haddish. Has been doing satire since she was 16. You can't let me know your number one Tiffany Haddish joke. Since she ain't done a visit yet, she ain't done an exceptional job. She has not demonstrated the capacity to make quips back to back for an hour. Williams got straight to the point, and it appears to be his prescience of wariness about Abaddon's parody vocation. Maybe tormenting her now, he kept on adding they generally prepared to down Monique and up someone who has shown them young ladies trip numbskull, or do you imagine that was at that point a content and they gave it to her it ultimately depends on you anything you desire to trust the idea that Abaddon probably won't be the imaginative virtuoso behind her own prosperity, which sent shockwaves through the studio. Wanda Smith, obviously quick to shield Haddish, proposed that individuals enjoyed her because, in light of the fact that she was genuine, Williams never needed to withdraw from a discussion and tossed an expository poke, asking when genuine became attractive in the business to top it. Off he dropped a sensation by claiming that Abaddon's prominence was because of her readiness to lay down with a white man, suggesting her not-so-secret fixation on Brad Pitt as the contention seethed on Williams lauded a large group of other dark female entertainers. For example, Linnell Melanie. Carco and Miss Laura, who he accepted, had been unreasonably disregarded. He featured the twofold principles that appear to continue in the business where a person of color's looks are held against her. In his words, what you resemble shouldn't be held against you. He likewise stressed the business's propensity for sidelining ability for people who fit a specific shape regardless. Tiffany Haddish has as of late been carrying on, and many individuals are addressing the fact that she is still in charge of her activities. First of all, Tiffany Haddish was captured early Friday morning on suspicion of driving. Impaired by the Beverly Slopes Police Division, police were called at 5.45 a. M on Friday morning, and she was arrested soon after. Had supposedly performed at the Chuckle Manufacturing Plant in West Hollywood on Thursday night for the Satire Club's 43RD yearly free Thanksgiving feast for the local area. It's fascinating that prior to the day she was in prison in the wake of getting taken in and booked before that very morning, when asked by a crowd of people at the Snicker production line, Haddish said her, Supplications for a man in uniform were positively addressed, something the group ate up as such. She went with the flow and made the entire thing into a very much conveyed zinger. However, assuming it seems like she concocted that man in uniform line before long that is on the grounds that she sent it. Similar line soon after her 2022 Georgia DU at the point when she was a visitor on the This Evening Show. I can say this, Jimmy, I've been petitioning God to send me a renewed person. 
A decent man said, Hadish, and God felt free to send me four in a uniform. I wasn't expecting it. I got a truly extraordinary legal counselor, and we're rolling to resolve it, and I've gotta get my requesting from things to get somewhat better Hadish added at the time in any case. The young lady's trip star later let E.T. know that she had spent a long Thanksgiving day that began with taking care of oppressed individuals at the chuckle processing plant Haddish conveyed in Extraordinary occasions set at the scene's 43-yard yearly free blowout for local people of her. Capture Haddish and let E.T. know that her Tesla stopped itself when she snoozed off yet was obstructing a part of the road. I will get some assistance so I can learn equilibrium and limits. She noted that Haddish likewise said that she's feeling great following the capture and praised the Beverly Slopes Police Division for their impressive skill and how they dealt with the circumstances. Police affirmed to E.T. that the 43-year-old jokester was referred to by cops on Friday, November 24. That observers supposedly noticed Abaddon's vehicle halted in Beverly Drive, with her seeming, by all accounts, to be sleeping at the worst possible time anyway. Driving impaired isn't the main thing that Tiffany has been doing in her vehicle while driving. Tiffany, as of late, took to Instagram to openly discuss her thoughts about the ongoing elements inside her group and circle in a genuine discourse that endured almost 22 minutes. She uncovered her disappointments and concerns, offering viewers a brief look into the difficulties she faces as a person of note and performer. The video started with Hadish tending to a Normal misguided judgment about her, the insight that she is an interminably quite sweet individual, obviously furious she communicated her exhaustion at being categorized into this picture, don't request that I do gracious, she's a decent individual, so great thus sweet, that pleasant, that pleasant. I'm worn out on be a good to you, raggedy one of the focal subjects. Of Abaddon's speech was her discontent with those near her exploiting her liberality, and in a way that would sound natural to her being languid. Her disappointment was obvious as she beseeched individuals not to anticipate that she should work free of charge, particularly on the off chance that she had repaid them in the past. The jokester's enthusiastic request stretched out to the nonsensical requests put on her. Related cases where she was approached to travel broadly, leaving her home state for one more without non-stop flights, just to be offered remuneration that missed the mark regarding her apparent worth. I'm tired of being decent, she pronounced, featuring the cost. Such circumstances were taking on her understanding in a snapshot of truthfulness. Abaddon tends to any youngsters who may be. Watching her says, Ari for the unequivocal idea of her complaints while granting a pivotal illustration about self-esteem. Know your worth and don't allow anyone to. Regardless of whether they're your companion, regardless of whether it's someone you love, don't allow them to utilize you. She prompted recognizing the potential effect her words could have on a more youthful crowd as the talk unfolded. Haddish dove further into her close-to-home scene, uncovering a layer of envy that frequently goes with her diligent effort. She enunciated her dissatisfaction at seeing others benefit from her endeavors while feeling disregarded or abused in kind. I surmise I have a little desire because I can't stand while I'm really buckling down as I'm doing this difficult work. And afterward, individuals are eating off of me, and afterward things are getting lost in the noise, and I'm being dealt with not great. The notice of lethargic individuals in the business appreciating extravagances like yachts, while she tried sincerely yet confronted difficulties highlighted the lopsided characteristics she saw in her expert connections. Now. These are by all accounts not the only times that Tiffany's way of behaving has. In July last year, a video of Tiffany Haddish running into a fan at a ball game surfaced on the web. For the most part, fans are known to shout a superstar's name to draw their attention. Yet in Tiffany Abaddon's case, the jobs exchanged. The video shows Haddish unpleasantly shouting the fan's name again and again. To mockingly shout the fan's name in fervor in the midst of Haddish is hollering the fan inclines in on the humorist renouncing the amount she cherished her while endeavoring to give her an embrace. The 42-year-old quit shouting her name and repudiated, I don't address me like that. Fans responded to the video via virtual entertainment, feeling like it was uncalled. For Haddish to deal with a fan like the manner in which she did, wouldn't she be able to simply have offered one expression and left? This was so additional fan remarked, 
a subsequent fan added. I mean, without individuals like Adrian Tiffany, Heresh would in any case be destitute. This response from her wasn't cool by any stretch of the imagination, regardless of the word on the Grap plant is that Haddish has been sincerely worried for some time now, and this makes sense of HR flighty conduct. You find that in September last year, Haddish guaranteed that she lost all that in the wake of being blamed for kid exposition in a now-excused claim in August, a 22-year-old elderly person utilizing the Gnome de Plume Doe documented, a claim that affirmed that Haddish an individual. Jokester Aries Lances had constrained her and her 15-year-old sibling independently to perform improper follow-up on camera when they were the two kids. As per the objection, Lances played a P in the video, which included scenes of him kneading oil onto Joan's back among other intriguing demonstrations. The claim guaranteed that after the shoot finished, John called his mom, crying, saying he would have rather not shot any longer somewhere else in.